Let's go to the tail of the tape. The biggest disparity in age. Holyfield nearly a decade older than Ruiz. Almost exactly the same height. Reaches even. Holyfield career heaviest 221. 224 for Ruiz. Down seven from his last fight. And the key rules for this WBA title fight. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth, it's ruled a no contest. If it happens after the end of round four, they go to the scorecard. So here at the Grand Ballroom in Las Vegas, getting ready for our main event. Looks like a sellout crowd of around 9,000 on hand for Holyfield Ruiz, vacant WBA heavyweight title. The official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Paris, Las Vegas Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, as it's time for our featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Don King Productions, in association with Showtime Championship Boxing, Paris, Las Vegas, and Budweiser, the undisputed king of beers. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the President, Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor, Carlos Chavez, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the Chairman is Dr. Elias Garnum, Commissioners Amy Ayub, Glenn Carano, Dr. Flip Pomansky, and Dr. Luther Mack. The Executive Director is Mark Ratner. Our three judges scoring this bout from ringside, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Dwayne Ford. Also from Las Vegas, Dave Moretti, and from La Vencia, Venezuela, Fernando Viso. And introducing the third man of the ring, our referee in charge of this bout, Richard Steele. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Paris, Las Vegas, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, ready to fight, wearing black trunks, hailing from Chelsea, Massachusetts, by way of Savannah Grande, Puerto Rico. His weight, 224 pounds. His record stands at 36 wins, three losses, with 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his first bid for a world title, also attempting to become the very first Latino heavyweight world champion, introducing the WBA number one ranked heavyweight contender known as the Quiet Man. Here is John Ruiz. And his opponent across the ring on my left fighting out of the red corner really needing no introduction the world over wearing red trunks with silver trim fighting out of and representing his hometown of Atlanta Georgia he weighed in at 221 pounds with a record of 36 wins four losses and one draw he has 25 wins coming by way of knockout Tonight, he makes an historic bid to become the first man to win a heavyweight title four times. Here is the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, the former undisputed heavyweight world champion, and the current WBA number two ranked heavyweight in the world. Please welcome one of boxing's great warriors, introducing Evander, the real deal. Once again, a referee in charge, Richard Steele, now to give instructions, 12 rounds of championship boxing schedule. Okay, you guys, I spoke to both of you in your dressing room. I'm cautioning again, obey my commands at all time. I see both of you labels, so that's great. That's anything kind of below, anything below, anything below, will be a low blow, okay? Any questions? Shake hands and good luck. You can make an argument Holyfield's offense was better and busier his last fight, the rematch with Lennox Lewis. Which Holyfield will we see tonight? A more active, aggressive one or a slower, less energetic one? John Ruiz, 
Look at he's ready to pounce out. Usually starts fast. Aggressive straight ahead fighter. Not much side to side. Has power. Best weapon. Left hook, right uppercut combination. Here we go. Steve, the first two rounds of this fight is the monster. The guy that sets the tone as Ruiz is trying to do gets the play. Ruiz immediately digging to the ribs of Holyfield. No one Great. Step back. Step back. Ruiz did come out fast. <laughs> Ruiz sticking the jab, landing the rights and lefts, going to the body. Ruiz is working right, that right hand to the body an awful lot very early. He said he needed to throw a barrage to smother right, Holyfield with combinations. But the key to establish the jab. He said he had to watch out for Holyfield's left, left hook, and Holyfield right now is just letting him get that energy out, letting Ruiz work early and, and trying to right, gauge him. I think right, gauge his strength, gauge his power, gauge his speed, and you're going to see a burst from Holyfield. I know you will. Ruiz immediately testing the previously damaged left rib cage of Holyfield. No Holy! Oh. And Holyfield, with some wrestling tactics, just throwing, spinning Ruiz away into the corner. No Holyfield. Holyfield feels he hasn't right, lost right, anything right. as far as strength, no but perhaps right. in his quickness. Right now Holyfield coming back with hard left uppercut. Come on, put your arms back. To the Pull body. back. Pull oh, back, Great, right, step back, step back. Mamma job for Richard Steele. Oh, right, Ruiz doing back, a nice job back. with that left jab, looking to set up the overhand right. Holyfield right now looking a little bit slow. No real snap to his punches. And not throwing many at all, Steve. Well, Ruiz looking to get, to get out. the early Great respect of Evander Holyfield, and it seems like it's working. Well, I know he's got his attention because he's in his face every second. Here's that good shotgun jab again right in the head by Ruiz. Ruiz with a snappy left hook, follows it up with a right hand, and again continues to score. <laughs> The jab is working perfectly for John Ruiz. He's not Come only on, getting into the jab, closing the gap, getting inside. He's scoring with it. Now the fans Punch getting get behind get Holyfield. Right, step back, step back. Ruiz winning round one. For the relatively unknown John Ruiz. You gotta use the jab, man. You gotta use the jab, man. You gotta match it. He's gonna be a very physical fight early on, a lot of wrestling. This is an attrition type match. Tangling arms, holding on the inside. Vander tying up Ruiz, and it's not uh, not the cleanest of uh, clinches. Watch the jab of Ruiz. One, two. Those two weren't the two most effective ones, but he comes back. Three. And landing. Holyfield offering up nothing. There's a hook. Another jab. A double jab. Ready to set up the right hand. He's constantly working in, pushing Holyfield back. Holyfield's power is significantly lessened when he's moving backward. He can't jump in with that 221 pounds. Round one reminiscent of the Holyfield Vaughn Bean fight. Round two begins. And Ruiz again comes out in aggressive fashion. Part of Ruiz's strategy in round one was to back Holyfield up into the ropes with that effective jab or by force if he had to. And Ruiz got the job done. Holyfield's working more. Coming, throwing the punches much more readily now. Straight right hand to the head by Holyfield. And nice hand right by John Ruiz. Ruiz jumping on Holyfield and again backing him into right. the ropes. Step back, step back. Again, a jab. He's got that jab in Holyfield's face. Holyfield can't leave with those big hooks when he's got a jab in his face. 
You know they're cheering in Chelsea right now. It's been nearly non-stop action since the opening bell. Not many lulls. Now Holyfield goes to the double up in the jam. Ruiz has answers for just about everything, Bobby. Well, you know, no hold, he's no prepared for this fight. This is his whole lifetime. And again, that goes to David Tua. was haunting him. And it's really, there's a, there's a shove to the ground. Not a punch, he just kind of threw him to the ground. Don't push him, no don't knock hold down. Him. Holyfield holding and pushing. That's why Ruiz went down. And he gets cautioned by Richard Steele. Ruiz no stopped hold. working that right hand to the body. First round was very Push effective. Nice right uppercut to the jaw by Ruiz. And that snapped Holyfield's head back. And then he sticks that stiff left jab in on the face of Holyfield. Punch your way out. No holding. This is a very physical fight. Tough. Keep your body oh, right break, and everything back, correct. Back, you know, wrestling, pulling Don't on arms, spinning. Don't spinning. grabbing, pulling on shoulders. Very, very wear and tear type fight. Ruiz, like an octopus, all over Holyfield. Hasn't let up. A lot of pressure. There's a big right hand by John Ruiz. There's a nice body combination here by Holyfield that seems to slow out. John down just a little Punch bit. Way but out. Come on. He's still coming Pull forward. Back. Right. Step back. Step back. Ruiz, very democratic, mixing it up, going to the head and body. <laughs> Well, he certainly got the attention of the former undisputed champion, Evander Holyfield. There's that great jab again by Ruiz. It was a nice counter attempt by Ruiz. He rocked on Holyfield's jab, tried to fire a right hand, but it was uh, off the target. Come on, you got work. That is really an effective jab by John Ruiz. It's pushing Holyfield back, and it's also setting up the right hand. Come on, punch away out. Ruiz's right, strategy back, just clean. lie on top of Holyfield, put his weight on him, weigh him down. Stand up, okay, stand up, stand up. Yeah. All right, my man. Johnny, it. listen, you gotta work the jab a little more, you understand? You're making this a walk for yourself, you don't need it. You don't need it, Johnny. Come on, come on. Yeah. John Ruiz trying to draw some fire from Holyfield. Counter, that left hook was low. Right hand over the top, didn't land too well. Trying to draw Holyfield's firing and firing. There's a left hook to the body and a right hand which lands very cleanly on the jaw of Holyfield. The look in Holyfield's eyes is not what it usually is. I can tell you something's off. Here's another look at John Reese coming in underneath. Throws the hook up top and the right hand over the top. Working that body, trying to stay on it. Keeping Holyfield on his heels. A very smart tech. Here we see it from the overhead in the pull down slip pull down uh, combination there Ruiz said he definitely had to win the first three rounds that's what he told us the other day and if he wins this fight he th he said it'll have to be by knockout or decisive decision the judges won't give him a close decision I believe that's probably correct I think that if, if this fight is close they give it to Holyfield out. because Holyfield Tyson three is worth more money than any other fight out there right now and you wonder as Ruiz lands again off the top of Holyfield's head with the overhand right, if Holyfield gets too frustrated, if he'll start no with holding. the elbows and the forearms and the head. Punch your way out. He's been known to do that. Pull him back, pull him back. Ruiz injured his left hand a couple of months ago in a kitchen accident. He cut a tendon, but said it's a non-factor. Certainly no sign of it there with that left hook. Nice counter left hook by John Ruiz. Landing off the top of Holyfield's head, but he needs to follow up the second shot. And a right hand like that. Oh, there's a right uppercut out of nowhere by Holyfield to the chin of Ruiz. Slows him down momentarily, but then he comes back. Wild swing and a miss by Ivana. Oh, got a straight right hand of a nose by Ruiz. What an exchange. It's almost as if John Ruiz is following your keys to victory to the team. Well, you know, Steve, some of the things he, I think are pretty evident. With his on, style, he needs to do certain back. things. Right, With Evander's back. style, he needs to compromise and neutralize certain things. And right now, he's doing a very good job of it. Now, Holyfield working to the jab. Ruiz just on, falls on, down. No holding. Again, the blame on Holyfield for pushing him down for the hold. 
And that looked like sheer exhaustion. Beautiful uppercut by Holyfield. Landed right, squarely right, on somehow, Ruiz's somehow. chin. No ill effects. We approach the final minute of round three. Terrific action with John Ruiz in control to this point. Holyfield's just not working hard. One other key was outworking him, and John Ruiz is outworking him. But can he sustain his pace for the 12 full rounds? Get out. Your That's back. huge. Right. Ruiz stop back, stop back. out hustling Holyfield. Stop Another back, question is, can Holyfield go 12 hard rounds if necessary? John Ruiz, nearly 10 years younger than Holyfield, who turns 38 in October. Good combination of the head by Holyfield and back paid Ruiz. Oh, a straight right hand by Holyfield that stuns Ruiz. You hurt Ruiz with that right hand. Ruiz is one. His chin is in question he, before. He's in trouble. Holyfield jumps on him. Let's see if he can finish him. 14 seconds to go in the third round. The tide has turned. Ruiz hanging on. Right, step back, Just step a back. few more seconds and he makes it through the round. stay on the outside. This is the range that's Holyfield. Watch him walk into a right hand. It's a beauty. That's not the range for John Ruiz in this fight. There's the right hand. He walks right into it over the jab. And that hurt him and it rocked him. And again, Holyfield doesn't punch like Tua, but he punches well enough. Watch his right hand. Right on the top of the temple. Ruiz holding on. You can see his legs are not under him. There is badly shaken. Ruiz was doing a great job the first three rounds, staying close to Holyfield, scoring effectively. As soon as he gave Holyfield some distance, it was a different story. Ruiz stunned. 20 seconds left in round three. He made it to the bell, but well, failing. We'll see now if John Ruiz is still hurt. Left right combination of the head by Holyfield. Holyfield well, coming to the test. Trial. Jab is scoring effectively now by Evander. And Ruiz backs up. A totally different Ruiz who has felt the power of Holyfield. Look how cautious Ruiz is now. But Holy's not working. Steve Holy should be on him. All over him. He's giving John time. Let's see if Holyfield... Puts on more pressure here. There's a straight right hand that scores by Ruiz. To Ruiz the turning the tie back. Why is Holyfield taking this tactic? Another big right hand by John Ruiz. Holyfield had Ruiz where he wanted him, and then he lays back. He's not working, and I don't know what's going on, but he has evidently just... He's, he almost looks out. like he's disinterested to a degree. There has to be a physical problem. Again, the right hand. Punching it out. It's Holyfield who suddenly becomes overly cautious yeah, when he had free. Ruiz in his pocket. I'm going to tell you, Steve, exactly what it looks like. It looks exactly like the Holyfield who fought Michael Moore the first time. It looks like he's having a problem with his heart or his breathing or something. Something inside him is not working properly. What an interesting development here in round four. Just when it looked like Holyfield had everything going for him, he stopped fighting. Come on, what? Don't hold him. And really, there may be something wrong with him. Meanwhile, Ruiz backpedaling. He left right a couple of left after the right. That wakes up Holyfield. The stiff left jab again by Ruiz. Don't hold him. Come on, work your way out. Work, step back. A very back. bizarre fourth round. Evander did not at any point in time during this round jump on John Ruiz to see if he had any cobwebs left. And now John Ruiz step is back. putting some punches on him. And I can't wait for the end of this fight to find out 
if there was anything wrong with Evander Holyfield. Final seconds, round four. Holyfield letting Ruiz off the hook. Can you hold the mouth, please? Give me that Vaseline. Give me that sponge. I'm the sponge. You gotta throw punches, champ. You're making all the moves, you just ain't punching. You're gonna watch now. Evander Holyfield throws out a little bit of a lazy jab, and over the top of it comes a right hand. Lazy jab, there's a right hand. Now, that one didn't land very cleanly. But I will tell you, three or four of them landed very cleanly and buckled Holyfield. Combination punches, baby. Combination punches. Go to the rhythm, Holy. Keep that head moving. Keep it moving. You can do it, Holy. You can do it, baby. Holyfield doesn't look right. He seems to be holding back on throwing the right hand. He seems to be holding back on throwing a lot of things. Pretty uh, early and pretty unusual in a heavyweight title fight to take off a fourth round. Especially when you have your guy down, well, not down, but almost down in the previous round and in serious trouble. Go, go home, go. Is this the night that Evander Holyfield finally gets old? John Ruiz now staying on the outside, not a good place for him. He needs to be working behind that jab. He nailed it with the right, missed wildly with the left, Ruiz. Holyfield taking off just about the complete fourth round. Beautiful jab by John Ruiz. It was. He stumped the shotgun jab, turning the jaw of Evander Holyfield. And he's been doing that with regularity. So far, Number one is ahead of number two, surprisingly. Work out. Ruiz Work does like the jab to the body. Sometimes a dangerous move. Counter right hands over the top. We saw Holyfield rock him with one before, but he's still thrown to that body. Punch. Punch to get out. Punch to get out, guys. Come on. Holyfield eating a lot of leather. Combination to the head. Holyfield looks exhausted. He looks exhausted. He looks like he's having a problem. There's a physical problem, Steve. There has to be. This is a specimen that we have seen summoning it up time after time in later rounds and longer, harder fights. Something's wrong. And he's not fighting Lennox Lewis or David Tua or Mike Tyson. He's fighting a relatively unknown John Ruiz. Who will be very known no if he wins this fight. Great, great. Come on. Again, Ruiz sticking that no left jab to the chin great. of Holyfield. But he's only throwing one, Steve. What he needs to do is throw a double, triple jab, and then fire the right hand over the top. Like that. There's a nice double jab, but no right hand. What do you want, everything? I do. There's a right uppercut on, on the inside by Holyfield. Ruiz ties Evander up. Come on, punch it down. John's out working, but he's not Come doing on, a lot. And Holyfield's just doing less. Break, step back, step back. A lot of holding and punching going on right now. Right uppercut, a grazing blow by Ruiz. That's a straight right hand of the head of Holyfield. That was a blistering shot by the quiet man. Holyfield gonna try and steal around here, but it's too late. Big finish for John Ruiz. You don't have to slug with this guy. Move, move to your right. Slug the cloud. I'm going to watch the jab. John Ruiz doubles that jab up, fires that jab. Before Holyfield can do anything, there's that, there's that shotgun jab we're talking about. Stuffs it before Holyfield can do much. On the inside, he tries to get an uppercut in here. But that's the jab that's been winning the round so far. Come on, 
Come on, man. And when he hits you, hit him right back. Hit him right back immediately. Let's go. Come on. Right back. Right back. Yeah, guys. It sometimes takes an extraordinary circumstance to bring out the best in Evander Holyfield. We described John Ruiz as a good guy earlier. Perhaps he doesn't want to antagonize the former champion too much. Just kidding. Round six underway. Holyfield just seems to be out of it. We talked about him being the ultimate overachiever. Sometimes overachievers, by their nature of the game, just will not look at their health first. Ruiz just walked into a, a left hook on the Punch temple get out. by Holyfield. Right, step back. He shook that one step off much back, better, though, Steve. No wobbling, no bad legs. The end of round three, he was really shaken up, Ruiz. <laughs> Beautiful Come right on, by Holyfield. But Holyfield couldn't finish him off, and then he took off the whole round four for some reason. We're not sure. It does seem like there may be something wrong with him. Again, time. stuffing that jab time. is Ruiz. But you still calls time. On the field. There's some loose tape on the left glove of Ruiz. Mark Ratner, the head of the commission, tells us it's the first time in Nevada he's allowed fighters to wear different colored gloves, as you've noticed. Vander wearing designer gloves. Color coordinated to match. Awesome. Both made by Grant, though. It's the same glove, just in different colors. Time in. Round six continues. The crowd trying to get behind Holyfield by Channing Holy in unison. Left hook off the head by Holyfield. Punching it out. I think a left hook on the inside hurt John Ruiz a little bit. And then bullying tactics by Ruiz. What he's trying to do is stay inside the power shots. Jim Gray spoke with Don Turner, Holyfield's trainer, a moment ago, and Turner so right, told back, Jim there's back, nothing back. wrong with Evander. Wow. You couldn't fight a Lennox Lewis, a David Tua, even a, a lesser fighter right now would give Holyfield all he wants. He just doesn't seem to have what it takes today. Right off the top of the head, Lansing blow by John Ruiz. He's got to get that one just a tad low. There's that jab again in the right hand. He just stuffs it. Another one, two. Punch it out. Come on, your hands are free. No push. Great, step back. Here's a, a cut around the right eye of John Ruiz. Keep him up. No holding. I'll tell you, I'd be willing to bet that came from heads clashing on the inside because Holy hasn't landed good clean shots other than the one in the second round or third round, excuse me, and big right hand was on the button. Break, step back. Keep him in front. John Ruiz front. showing his grit and his toughness. You're not busy enough holding. You're losing every round, champ. You won one round. You understand that? Because you're white. This guy's bluffing you with that right hand. He's, he's hitting you with it every once in a while, but it's because you're waiting back on him. You got to boot you up. You got to get up there quick. Then work. Get up there quick. Work behind the jab. Get up there quick. Let your hands go. Come on, babe. Come on now. Man, combination. That's all you need to do. Combination. Everything. Johnny, you gotta move. You gotta move, buddy. Hold this down, dude. Come on, champ. Come on, get champ and suck it up. Let's go. Suck Johnny, it up. Just, suck it up. Go. Come on. Come on. Move. Suck it up, Johnny. Just move. Come on. Suck it up. Go. Come on. Come on. Move. Go. Blood first appeared under the right eye of John Ruiz halfway through round six. They were being very blunt in the Holyfield corner, telling the former champ that he won only one round thus far. Well, that's how I have it, too, five rounds to one. And uh, his corner's being incredibly honest with him. Online, 
The folks have Ruiz ahead. Four rounds to two. They give Holyfield rounds three and six. Big right hand there by Ruiz, but again, he has stopped the pressure. He stopped the pace. One big shot, and then he's holding. Right uppercut by Holyfield, going back to the jab, missing with the overhand right. Ruiz sticking a straight left hand to the head of Holyfield. Come on, you guys. Great. It's getting to the point where they separate. Ruiz steps in with a big jab, they hold. And it's a repeating set of sequences. There it is again. Punch it, get out. Ruiz came out blazing. Watch it here. I believe some of the adrenaline has disappeared from John Ruiz early in the fight, especially the very beginning. It's tiring a little bit. Some of the event has gotten to him, as well as that fast pace he put on. Holyfield doing a nice job blocking punches. He is pressing the attack, pushing Ruiz off of him, and digging to the body and wrapping his left hook around the head of Ruiz. Here's that shotgun jab by Ruiz again. One and done. Let's see if he offers up the right hand behind it. Come on, work him. it, get out. Work it, get out. Man. John's landed work some pretty good right hands, but jab, jab, right hand, that's it. No hook, no uppercuts. No second right hand. There it is. But that's it, and he holds. No need. He landed work clean, finish it up. Right, step back, step back to You know, he's winning the rounds by a little bit doing that, but he could be so much more convincing because Evander's not doing enough. Ruiz now fighting at spurts. There's a big left hand by Holyfield off the chin of John Ruiz. Well, he's got a better jaw than I thought, Ruiz. He got he had a nice left hook there. Holy starting to come on, but it's late in the round. He's got to close it out if he's going to win this round. Good counter punching by Holyfield. One of those shots might have been a little on the low side, as was that one. Look out again. The WWF tactics by Holyfield as he just shoves Ruiz to the canvas. Let's go. John Ruiz is getting the tired. Second time, okay? Second warning. Final seconds, round seven. An exhausted Ruiz lands with the hook. And then a right hand at the bell. Ruiz fighting on guts. Guess what you've been doing? You can't wait any longer. Breathe, breathe. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Sponge. Nice job. Johnny, please move. Please move on this guy. Nice Jab and move. What do you mean? Mm. Jab and move. Keep on. Oh, get that in there. Johnny, he's to a nice there. sequence of Vander throwing a jab in the right hand, and he works with a big left hook. He finishes it off. That's his big power shot. And even Ruiz said he's got to stay away from that big left hook. There he follows back with an uppercut on the inside. One of the better sequences. Here's the uh, slip slash toss to the ground. Holyfield just kind of throws him over. Uh, WWF type move. Dramatic stuff from uh, trainer Norm Stone in the corner of. John Ruiz pleading for the quiet man to move for jab and move. Let's see if he adheres to those instructions. Well, the jab was working in the first part of the fight. And always, always coming out now to fire. He's landing big. Holyfield jumping on Ruiz to begin round eight. Scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA heavyweight championship. Nice counter right hand by Ruiz, but he doesn't have the steam on it he had. Holyfield with more of a purpose here. Just missing with the left. A counter right hand by Ruiz. And another one. What an exchange. Holyfield looking a lot more focused suddenly. The crowd gets behind him. But the energy level, Steve, it doesn't right, seem to be right. there. Keep it clean, keep it clean. That and his trunks are falling down very low. It, it is waiting. He started out strong and then... Peter out. Punch it out of there. Come on, you got a break. Step back. Yeah. 
As we said before, this title may not mean a lot to a lot of people, but as you can see by this demonstration of the ring, it means a heck of a lot to these two fighters. Well, he started out the round with some nice combinations, and then he just stopped. There's a nice right hand left hook, but he too is only throwing one and two at a time. The round's half over, no one's taking any real play here. Holyfield dictating the tempo here in round eight. You hold him, John. Let him go. Ruiz holding on the inside. Holyfield squirms away. Always looking at this nice left hook by John Ruiz. You can see Holy looking to set him, but his reflexes aren't reacting quick enough. And he's just a step behind where he needs to be. Nice right uppercut to the stomach by Holyfield. There's that left jab landing by Ruiz. But he has a bad habit of holding Holyfield after the punch. No real meaningful punches in that combination. Step back, step back. Holy's throwing them, but he's not throwing them with bad intentions. Beautiful left right combination by Ruiz, a countering right hand by Holyfield. He threw another right hand too. Ruiz tried to throw a big left hook, missed badly. Break! Step back, step back, let him go. A quick but furious exchange. <laughs> big right hand Don't by Ruiz. Him, Ruiz. Him, to the jaw of Holyfield. Now. Make him chase you. Come on, we're in our rounds now. That right hand's not doing it. Not the He's trying to counter you all the time with that right hand over the top. You gotta move away. The warrior trying to dig down and find what he needs to win. Coming back, rocking. He still has the experience, still knows what to do. It just seems his body can't do it. There, twice trying to rock. And John Ruiz missing badly with that wild left hook. There you see again, he's trying to rock and roll. Rock on that right hand and roll back in with his own. Twice he tries it, but again, he's just a step behind in timing. In the past, Holyfield always knew how to make the proper adjustments during the fight. He would find a way to win, as Bobby put it, dig down deep. We'll see what happens here. We are into round nine, scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA heavyweight title. Evander's just not doing enough to win the rounds. Even though John's not winning the rounds big, he's, he's outworking it early and he's just not crazy. He jabs his way in, lands a few things, they tie up. And again, it becomes a repeat of the same sequence. Tie up. Holyfield uh, has come on recently here in this fight. How do you have it unofficially scored right now? Unofficially, I've only given only one round. And maybe there's maybe another round there that was close enough to give him, but I, I just don't see it. It's not working. His punches sometimes are a little bigger, but not enough of them. They're not landing as clean. He's missing the mark. I mean, it's a shame to watch this. The fight is actually boring. The heavyweight world championship that should never be an adjective describing that type of fight. A great step back, step back. Time we talked about moment. the ring erosion, the possible Time. deterioration. Holyfield nearing age 38. Again, a problem with the uh, the tape around the club of Ruiz. Get both of them again. Gabe Lamarca, his trainer, wrapping the tape around. Okay. Holyfield could be on his way Time. to not having won in three consecutive fights. That would be unusual Once for this great warrior. But he said, if necessary,
necessary. He'll fight until he's 50 years old to win an undisputed heavyweight title again. Right hand to the head, uppercuts to the body by John Ruiz. John Ruiz landed some nice uppercuts and hooks and an overhand right. And a beautiful combination and, to the head of Holyfield. And Holy finally offered back one punch in return. And even as he's backing up, Ruiz scoring with the left jab. Cut opening up again around the right eye no of Ruiz. Holding, no pushing, no pushing. Ruiz on the retreat, but landing effectively. Tough shots to the body by Holyfield. There's a big left hook, but that was partially blocked by Ruiz's forearm. Yeah, Ruiz is covering, there's a big right hand, but what he's doing is he's firing and ducking. And Holyfield's starting to time him, and he's going to walk into a rip, ripping right uppercut. Ruiz with a sudden burst of energy here in late round uh, nine. Break somebody, keep it clean, you guys, keep it clean. Now Holyfield sticking the jab overhand right Break that somebody. scores somebody. by Ruiz at the bell. Big finish in the round for John Ruiz. Let's substantiate what Bonnie right. was talking about yeah, as we go good. inside the ropes. Well, Steve, over and over again, we watch John Ruiz work his way in, throw a nice combination, come in behind the jab, throw a few more, and stop. Holy not offering much back. There's one. But in each one of these sequences, it's John Ruiz initiating and firing. Here we see it again, big jab. Over and over and over, several times around. Combination twice, or bing, 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 bing. Stop trying to ease your way up there. This guy's so tired he can't hold up his hands, and you're easing your way up there. Okay. That's not necessary. Okay. Get them, I mean, hey, get them boogie up. Okay. I mean, put some hurt on this guy early. Let's go. Let's go. Ding, ding, ding. Round 10. <laughs> Scheduled for 12. Holy's own corner imploring him to load up. Bing, 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 they said. That's a power combination to look at him to load. Two, three, four, bang, bang, bang. Unload the big combinations and do it early. Holyfield had Ruiz in deep trouble at the end of round three. He couldn't put him away. There's Ruiz sticking and stuffing that left jab. And then he completely took off round four, did Evander Holyfield. And round five. He just couldn't finish Ruiz off. It looked as if there was something actually physically wrong with him. Or maybe his right hand. He was just holding back for some reason. But Don Turner, Holyfield's trainer, told our Jim Gray there's nothing wrong with Holyfield. Well, in all honesty, I don't think Don would tell us if there was in the middle of a fight. I don't think he would risk that. that information might get out and help John Ruiz or do anything to hurt Holy. Well, perhaps following the fight, we'll find out that there was something wrong. John Ruiz slipped and he blocked the big hook and then he looked like his legs came out. It didn't look good. Yeah, all of a sudden, he looks a little out of it. Let's go. Oh, it was a low blow. And Ruiz now staggers to the Holyfield corner. He hit him one side of the board. It was a pretty good shot. The fans think Ruiz is faking it. If he is, he's a heck of an actor. Fans don't like it. Okay. Okay. The fighter is hit below the belt and can't continue in five minutes. He I'm loses. Ready. You ready to continue? Richard let's Steele asked him if he's ready let's to go. go. Man, let's go. Well, Ruiz on. on shaky ground now after being hit below the belt. If Holyfield doesn't jump on him now, Steve, you know something's wrong. You got us all Don Turner says. I agree. And let's see what Ruiz has in him. Ruiz is the aggressor. But there's a big left hook by Holyfield, followed by a right hand and another left hook. But back comes Ruiz. And now Holyfield sticking the jab. Back comes Ruiz with the left jab. Ruiz's jab. 
will have won this fight if he does get the decision, if he doesn't get knocked out. Don't hold him, don't hold him. Don't hold him. Right, right, step back, step back. So it looks like Ruiz looking to weather another problem. Oh, he feels his mouth is bleeding now, too. Holyfield trying to score with that wicked right Great, uppercut, step back, but missing. Step back, step back. Again, the right uppercut, but raising combination to the head. Ruiz then playing a little possum comes back. He comes back, and Great, both of these back, fighters back, right now are at a fatigue point, and the fatigue is becoming a fact. Break, step back. Oh! They'll both be happy to hear the Let's bell. Go. Come on, kick it, kick it. Come on, champ. Holyfield throws a real nice left hook here that appeared to be blocked by John Ruiz right here. Oh, and it wasn't. It was hit him on his head. You see, look at his right leg. His right leg does a little Leon Earl and gets rubbery. A low blow. Right underneath. It wasn't that low. It wasn't that low. And you hear the fans reacting. They see it on the big screens. After the low blow, Holyfield lands a nice left hook. That one appeared better than the last one, but John reacts well, fires back. Into the championship rounds for the vacant WBA heavyweight title, round 11. Lennox Lewis chose not to face Ruiz previously, took Michael Grant instead, beat him easily. Some might say that was a wise decision after seeing this. Ruiz seems to be in control of this fight. The sense of urgency for Vander Holyfield should be at a maximum, should be at a premium. He should be letting it all hang out. He hasn't got but less than six minutes. You just never know what the judges are thinking, and Ruiz told us he's going to have to win this fight, if not by knockout, by decisive decision. That very well it may be the case. Great. Seven rounds to five would be one thing, but eight or nine rounds to two or three rounds or eight rounds to four would be, I think, clean enough. Come on, work your break. Step back. Step back. That's hands are free. Let's work. Holyfield coming in. A close four to one favor. Some people thought the odds should have been much higher. John Ruiz, the only time he stepped up, we talked about Punch David Tua, that goes on him. All that Holyfield's accomplished, four to one short. And Holyfield knows from being an underdog. He was a 30 to one underdog as Punch Ruiz again. lands an Don't overhand hold. right to the head of right. Holyfield. Step back, step back, step back. Evander, a 30 to one underdog before the first fight with Mike Tyson. And we all know what happened there. There was a perfect step example back. of John Ruiz's Watch jab saving him defensively. He had it out there. Always right hand, couldn't get around it, and it blocked the right hand. No, hey, Bobby, it's right. not that Ruiz has stunned or actually hurt Holyfield throughout the fight. It's just as if Holyfield has not really been in the fight for the most part. He's consistently outworked him, like there. You we'll see him work his way in, throw the combination. Holy waits for him, waits for him, looks for one or two big ones. For whatever the reason, Steve, Holy just doesn't have it today. One of your keys to victory for the quiet man, outwork Holyfield. And he has done just that throughout. He has out-hustled the former champion. Break, step back, step back. He's desperate. Pull your arm back. Pull it back. Your hands are free. Moving very slowly, very deliberately now. He's going to have to rely on a dramatic finish. It will have to be one of the most dramatic finishes in history. Don't hold him. And he's never had a 12th round knockout. Break, right, step back. Hold it. Hold it. Stop it. Stop it. Got one round to do it, buddy. Holyfield's daughter. Very 
big concern. First round coming up. Three minutes. Three minutes and final round. Three minutes. You gotta go with everything for three minutes, Evander. You gotta get on the body. Go with One, two, three, four. Every time you, every time you go, the body you hurt him. He cries like a baby to the referee. You gotta fight. You gotta fight. Exactly. Just keep your left hand up and your head moving on the way up. All he's got is that right hand. That's it. And he ain't got that. Stop trying to counter punch him. Come on, look at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Huh? Come on, John, last round. Nothing stupid box. You can't kill this guy. This is round 12. They were all giving advice to Holyfield, Ken Weldon, Don Turner, and Tim Hallmark. Let's see if it pays off. The quiet man's fans back in Chelsea, Massachusetts, must be making a lot of noise tonight. Don Turner said something very smart. Stop trying to counter him because that means you got to wait for John to lead. You got to lead. You got to take the play away. You got to deliver and land first. Twelfth and final round for the vacant WBA heavyweight championship. They're going to have to stop it again because of the loose tape. Let's go, you guys. Real good, real good, it's the real third fast. or fourth time it's happened. As mentioned, Holyfield has never had a 12th round knockout in his professional career. It looks like he's going to need one coming? tonight to win this fight. You know, many years ago, John Tate fighting Mike Weaver. John Tate dominating the fight. He got knocked out in the last round with just a minute okay. or so to go. Time. John Ruiz, one and one, when the fight has gone the full 12 rounds, losing to. Danell Nicholson in 94, a win over Jimmy Thunder in 97. I saw the Nicholson fight. I thought Ruiz won. I thought he was robbed. But that's the way it goes sometimes. The judges' eyes and the judges' decisions are final. Ruiz looking very sharp here. A lot of movement. And he finally throws. Holyfield not doing anything. And he needs to desperately. What is he waiting for? <laughs> Being pushed back by that right, effective back, Ruiz jab. There's two minutes left. And Holy has not made up the most of that first minute. <laughs> Winner or lose, right. Holyfield Keep said earlier here, he front. will not retire after this fight. I think a bare minimum of what right. he'll need to do after this let's is go, come go, back go. just to prove that this was another flu. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And that could be a mistake and very detrimental to his health. A lot of people are calling for his retirement right now, even before this fight. I wish he looked like this when I fought him, Steve. Good luck. No, Halfway through the final round. Watch out, boy. John Ruiz may be a minute 20 and counting away from being a heavyweight champion. Oh, he's trying. You can see him swinging hard and trying. John Ruiz just trying to put his head down and get out of harm's way. A little over a minute left. How many people outside Chelsea Mass? No. Is he calling it a, a knockdown? No, no. He waved it off. But there's blood on the face of Ruiz. Ruiz is exhausted. All he needs to use is that jab. Stop that jab. Step with it. There he goes. Step with the jab. But he is so tired, Steve. I know how it feels. All Ruiz has to do is stay away. And he's got it. Coming forward, stalking the bloody Ruiz. Oh, hold on, watch him. Holyfield getting dirty. Give him a little elbow for him right in the nose. Ruiz hanging tough against the onslaught of Holyfield. 25 seconds. for Holyfield. Keep your head. He's got to put Ruiz away. Right, right, right. Seemingly to win the fight. Let him go, let him go. Let him go to Ruiz. Holyfield won the last round, Steve, but that's it. It is all over. How many people outside Chelsea, Massachusetts, and perhaps Puerto Rico would have thought that John Ruiz would hold the world heavyweight title. It may happen. It should happen. Steve, we talked about the catch-22. If Ruiz beats Holyfield, I don't think any fighter here, neither of these fighters, up their stock tonight. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
Good show, Jerry. Good show. You should be ashamed of yourself. Great you should be ashamed of yourself. Johnny, great job, man. Johnny, great you, should, you should be ashamed of yourself. You didn't give him any warning. Look at the thing. You should be ashamed of yourself. Norm Stone it's really giving it to Richard Steele. It's about the elbows and the forearms. Always slammed a few in there. One of them started John Snow's, me, John Snow's bleeding. Tell me what you do. They told me exactly how it would end up. Yeah, thank you, man. That's exactly what they said. You do that. Exactly. Fucking quit point your time out. You can't take a point away. You're scared. Norm Stone complaining to referee Richard Steele for not taking a point away for the roughhouse tactics by Evander Holyfield. He's fuming at Steele. And Steele, a guy who's known to do that. We've seen that many times. We've seen him disqualify guys for doing that kind of stuff. But he's not about to do it in this kind of fight. So we await the decision. It's in the hands of Fernando Viso, Venezuela, Dwayne Ford, Vegas, Dave Moretti, Las Vegas. Take a look at some of those roughhouse tactics that they were complaining about. When Holy comes in, there's a little shove with the shoulder. That one might have been low, I don't know. But nah, nothing really bad there. Here's a little extra in slow motion. Oh, by the way, take this elbow in your face with you. Yeah, a little chicken wing in the face. That was uh, that was blatant. That was very blatant. Ruiz complaining to Richard Steele. Jimmy Lennon Jr., our ring announcer, is ready with the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here in Paris, Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Fernando Viso scores the bout 116 to 112. Judges Dwayne Ford and Dave Moretti both score the bout 114 okay. to 113. All three in favor of the winner. And now the four-time heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Incredulous, absurd, ridiculous. Steve, I always talk about agendas. No better a picture can be painted for an agenda than Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson, for the trilogy to be completed. Ain't nobody can stop us. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What a stinker of a decision. Four-time world champion. Okay. A stinker would be an upgrade. I'm sorry. John Ruiz getting robbed in Las Vegas. Highway robbery. As he makes his way back to the dressing room. In the people's eyes, he's the winner. Even Evander Holyfield has to be surprised by this decision, although he's the same guy who, who thought he beat Lennox Lewis twice. Let's get it up to Jim Gray. Jim. All right, thank you very much, Steve. Evander, feel as though you won. That's why I and I dedicate this fight to all them young kids, about 36, 36 million kids out there in that DARE program, you know, for not giving up, you know. It's a great, a great chance. I'm here because, not that I didn't lose in the fight, because I didn't quit. I dedicate to people in the DARE program. All right, now that we've gotten through that, did you feel as you won the fight? Well, you know, that's no doubt. You know, I won the fight. The fight was tough. And, you know, the big thing in life, in life is, 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 is proves the point to everybody. Regardless who or what happened in people past, they can overcome it. You know, this guy got knocked out in the sixth round, in the first round against, against uh, David Tour. And, you know, everybody discredited him. And, you know, and I, and I know everybody fight me hard. The guy was awkward. You know, he kept his hands in very close, so I couldn't get him with a good right hand, couldn't get him with an uppercut. You know, he positioned himself well. He, he played, a, he fought a very defensive fight, which, you know, keep you from getting knocked out. But in, in, in one way or enough, I, I heard him and all that. I was patient enough to not to just go in here and get an offensive cup, go headbutt to headbutt, swinging wild. 
So, you know, I, you know, I'm happy about the victory. Evander, was something wrong with you? It seemed as though in the third round you had a chance to put him away. You kind of held back. And then in the fourth round, seemingly almost uh, for, for several rounds, you didn't throw your right hand and, and you looked listless. Was well, something wrong? Well, no, I'm, I'm watching. The guy the guy's awkward. You know, one thing I told people, you know, if, if Chester Clippings and stuff, I tell people, I said, when you fight awkward fighters, you never know which way they go punch. they not conditioned. He don't throw the straight right hand. He throw a looping, and he, he leaves with his head. And, and you know, a lot of times you can break, the, break your hand by trying to hit him with the right hand because he got a head so far down. And, you know, and, and, but, you know, the guy got to fight the fight that worked for him. And it's an awkward position, so I wasn't able to get him, knock him out. But, you know, the guy had heart. The guy fought back, and, you know, I hit him with some hard punches and stuff like that. Couldn't figure out how to get to him to hit him with another clean shot. You're a very popular man in this country and throughout the world. You seemingly have gotten the benefit of some decisions, uh, a draw against Lennox Lewis, and now tonight. Do you feel as though people are going to look at this in the same suspect eyes that they looked at the last draw that you had? Well, you know, well, you, they can look at it in a way they want. You know, people are not fighting, I'm fighting. And, you know, and, and, and it's not so much the people saying it. There's a lot of people sit around the ring that kind of envy of me for what I accomplished. They think if they take something away, me, away from me, I'm going to go away. I'm not going nowhere until I, until I get tired of it. Yeah, and so, you know, I, you know, I give praise to the Lord and stuff like that. I'm not a quitter. You know, I, you hit me on one cheek, I turn to the other cheek. Here's one that I'm sure a lot of people want to know. Is Lennox Lewis, in your mind, the heavyweight champion of the world? Well, you know, Lennox, Lennox, of course, have the IBF and he have the WBC. I'm the WBA champ, you know, the, the flip-flop, you, know, you know, at first I had two belts and he had one. Now they flip-flop, you know. And who should the people recognize? Well, you know, the people should see for what it is. Lennox have two parts of the belt, but I have one part. So and it's Lennox. Responsibility, that's why. And, 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 and the most important thing is that no one is bigger than the rules and regulation. Ali was stripped. You know, George Foreman was stripped. Uh, Tyson was stripped. Reddy Bow was stripped. And, you know, and, and, and Lennox happened to be the recipient of two belts because, not because he won them in the ring, because the fact that he got the belt because Reddy Bow didn't fight him. He had the belt because Tyson didn't fight him. But he beat you last and he hasn't well, lost. But what, what happened is that it is the same thing. He didn't beat Reddy Bow. He didn't beat Mike Tyson. He got the belt and, you know, and didn't nobody say Talk that now. Evander. Why is it now that Evander followed the rules and regulation and then everybody penalized me for following the rules and regulation? All right. Will you give Johnny Ruiz a rematch? Well, I, I, yes, I will. Yes, I will. There ain't no problem. You know, my, I don't duck anybody. Right. It's the fact that they have been there, I fight anybody. I, I have Anybody, would that mean Mike Tyson? Well, I fight him, too. I'm telling you, that's no problem. I don't, I don't, I don't hold an astigmatism by nobody. You know, people are people. And, you know, whatever they do, if they in a position where that we can fight, I love to fight. I fight everybody. Now, your dream is to unify. You said you'd fight until 50, until you unify the title. I will fight till I win it. Until you win it. Yes. But the biggest fight out there has got to be Mike Tyson, and he doesn't have a title. Would that interest you next? Well, wait, if Mike Tyson's there and the fight can be made, yes, I will fight Mike Tyson. Evander, congratulations to you. We appreciate your answering the questions. Well, thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Over to you, Steve. All right. Let's Thanks very much. Better. Well, nobody has been uh, more supportive of Evander Holyfield over the years than Showtime, but Bobby and I, at least ringside, feel that uh, Holyfield lost this fight tonight, didn't win it. Here are the uh, official judges' scorecards. Dwayne Ford had Holyfield ahead 114-113. to 113. Dave Moretti 114-113 to 113 for Evander. And Fernando Viso, the only non-Las Vegas uh, judge, had it 116-112. For uh, Holyfield, Holyfield had to win that last round to win the fight. Here's the online scoring, and the folks at home uh, had John Ruiz ahead uh, quite convincingly by a count of eight to four. What do you think? Eight to four is clean as a whistle. Nine to three, maybe even. I talked about this fight in many different interviews, and I said if this fight goes to a decision, and it's even remotely close, if Ruiz wins seven clean rounds, he will never get the decision. Agendas, I use the word over and over again, I don't know a better word. There's an agenda for Vander Holyfield to have this title because he brings more to the table for cash, notoriety, publicity, fame, all of the things. And him and Tyson completing the trilogy is the biggest money fight in boxing right now, Steve. And it's a shame that it had to be accomplished in this fashion. And Holyfield wouldn't even come close if he fought Lennox Lewis this way. I, you know what, I can't imagine how he would look 
if he fought like this, uh, if he'd have fought me like this, I'd have had a shot at beating Well, <laughs> you might have a point. Here's John Ruiz back in his dressing room as they attend to the uh, the problems around his eyes. Gabe Lamarca over there, and he's got to be incredibly disappointed. The emotion back there. He's a very low key guy, of course, as described by described by his nickname, the Quiet Man. He came so close to becoming the first uh, of Hispanic origin to being the a heavyweight champion. Sure, Gabe, Gabe. And that's the story as John Ruiz uh, bolted from the, uh, the ring back into the dressing room. And Jim Gray, our uh, roving reporter, uh, is back on his way into the uh, dressing room right now. So maybe he'll, uh, he'll get a shot at interviewing uh, John Ruiz. Uh, John's such a, 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 a gentleman and a class act. It'll be interesting to see if, uh, if Jim does get a hold of him, what he'll have to say. He's a real nice guy, and he's not a great fighter. He's a good fighter. And on his best days, Evander Holyfield probably beats him without a problem and not by decision. I think there was evidence of that when Holy picked up some of the old Holyfield. He had Ruiz in trouble, not quite at will, but his body wasn't working. But I tell you this, if Holyfield's right, John Ruiz won't go the distance with him. We've seen that. His chin is just not big enough for the big punches, and always not one of the bigger punches like Tua. But on this day, he's heavyweight champion in the Let, world. As promised, let's go back there right now, Bobby. Jim Gray with John Ruiz. All right, thank you, Steve. Obvious disappointment here. Johnny, do you feel as though you were robbed? Yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. I mean, I, I basically controlled the fight. I was the one aggressive in there. And um, it's to know that he was, um, you know, he was basically throwing everything. It's, uh, you know, he was even including, including elbows, heads, anything he... He had, he threw it out there. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't throw a knee at me either. <laughs> How surprised were you when you heard four-time heavyweight champion? I was very surprised. I mean, uh, you know, that's, that's up to the judges when it comes to the 12th round. And whatever they think they saw, whatever they saw, is, you know, it's, it, it's, you know it's, it's in their eyes, whatever they, I don't know what they were seeing, so. It could have been the fight before or the fight after we're thinking about, but I know they weren't watching off the me and Holyfield fight. You had a feeling when you spoke to Steve Albert and Bobby Chez a couple of days ago that you were going to have to win by a knockout, that you were not under any circumstances going to win by decision. Now those feelings have come true. Yeah, so most... how do you respond to having to win a fight by knockout and, and, and clearly winning this fight, at least in, in the eyes of many ringside except for the judges. Well, well the, 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 um, the, the, the one thing is the, um, you know, it's like people say, you know, this is like a Robbie without a gun. So, um, you know, I just got to keep going in my career now. Just, you know, it's just really setback. I, I really hope, you know, this is my dream. And then all of a sudden it gets to be swept right on to me after going 12 hard rounds. And Do you want to fight him again? Most definitely. I mean, it, it, if it, tomorrow, I'll fight him tomorrow, the next day, yesterday. You know, I don't care where I fight. I'll fight him on the streets anywhere. And I mean, I won the fight, and he knows it. Why do you think that this has uh, happened? Evander Holyfield's a very popular man. Uh, this has happened uh, in, a, in a draw with Lennox Lewis, and, 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 and now tonight uh, you're losing. Can you find any explanation? Hey, uh, like I said before the fight, you know, I mean, they're coming to watch Holyfield. I mean, they never gave me a chance from the beginning. You know, it's it's... It's, it's people you just want, you just want to see an, another title for, for Holyfield, including the judges. You know, yeah, they want to see the fourth time. They, w they want the history in, in this side. Yet it so. seemed as though, Johnny, you were hurt a couple of times, particularly in that third round. You managed to, to, to stay on your feet. And then again in the last round, uh, and, and Holyfield really, while you controlled the fight, didn't seem to be in trouble. Were you in trouble those two times? Not really. I mean, I was, uh, I was caught, but um, I stayed on my feet. I kept going, and, and you know... He gave me a couple of uh, shots that um, were below the belt. And, you know, Richard Steele came before the fight telling him any, anything below the belt or anything with a headbutt or, or elbow, you know, that he's going to take away points. And I didn't see one point taken away. So I guess either he came into my room and lied to my face or he wasn't really watching the fight. Beautiful. Johnny, we appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you. Steve, out to you.